So this video is going to be very deep. I always make videos sometimes and I go very, very deep. And then these comments start coming in, you know, from these vampires. They are trying to squeeze their, um, their stories or they are trying to squeeze their criticism and their, their comments which don't make any sense just simply because they don't know what I'm talking about, okay? So, if you're not a chosen one, you keep scrolling. If you're not an empath, keep scrolling. There is things that you will hear that will trigger you. So, when the video is not for you, you know that you're not a chosen one, you just keep on going because these videos are going to trigger you, okay? Now, <clears throat> A lot of empaths are very familiar with this. You hop on a bus, or you hop on a train, even a taxi. And then, out of the blue, your energy changes. You may feel like you want to throw up. You sit next to someone, and sometimes you feel like you want to throw up. Sometimes you feel a very uncomfortable pain in your stomach you know there's a pain that you cannot explain it's it's like your stomach is turning upside down you know you feel like you want to throw up you feel very very extremely uneasy or sometimes you're sitting next to uh, next to a person and out of the blue you doze off you know out of the blue before when you came into that that place where everything was nice, you was wide awake. You went at this taxi, you sat next to this person, you dozed off straight away. A lot of you guys who have been with the narcissistic people, you have also seen that sometimes you are around narcissists and uh, Every now and then you find yourself napping, you know, out of the blue. You sit with them, you're watching a movie, you doze off. Or it's in the middle of the day, you know, you tend to be a little bit active in the kitchen. And then something comes and hits your energy. It's like all of a sudden you lose all your energy and you just feel like there's nothing else you want to do. You want to just go somewhere and find a place and take a nap. Very, very deep one. Sometimes you're going to feel this energy is very intense. Whereby it hits you in form of wanting to sleep and even actually going to sleep. It could be a nap that can even happen for an hour. Or it could be a nap that happens for like 30 minutes. Now, a lot of you guys, you're not told that. You have, you have never been taught, you know, that you've never been told about the spiritual world that is always happening around us, okay? There is people around us who are earth angels and there's some other people who are demons, okay? So they have got very demonic energy and many of them sometimes they don't even know it. I've always, I've always told you guys that this um this thing we are dealing with of narcissism, okay? So this is demonic. Um, <clears throat> it's a demonic energy we are dealing with, okay? Now, when you're around these kind of people, your spirit is always going to fight with their spirit, okay? Now, when that activity is happening, usually, it doesn't require you to be wide awake in that time because your spirit is not actively with you, okay? There is this protection team, especially for the chosen ones. There is a protection team that is guarding you, okay? These are your angels. These are your, you know, your spirit guides, your good ancestors. If you have been a toxic person like these narcissists, you could have some bad ancestors around you, okay? But if you have been... If you are an empath, you have also got a spiritual team. You see, 
empaths have got a spiritual team and these other people also have got their own spiritual team but it depends they are not all operating on these same frequencies so most of the times when you're around these people these nurses sometimes you sit around them or sometimes you're working with them or sometimes you in the, in your bed they're your husbands and wives girlfriends boyfriends or whatever it doesn't matter the two teams are not working hand in hand the two teams are not working together they're not properly working together so what usually happens is that a lot of times i could say 95 percent of the time you spend with these individuals especially if they're if they are your boyfriends or intimate partners you're going to spend a very huge time of uh, with those individuals fighting with each other you know you're going to fight there will, there will be nothing happening everything has been okay it has been a nice day you woke up in a good mood and out of the blue a fight just sparks off between the two of you what really is happening is that on a very spiritual level your spirit team is actually fighting with their spirit team with their demons i could just call them their demonic team the two energies are fighting with each other and these usually manifest physically as somebody who is sometimes confronting you and sometimes they want to attack you even they may even attack you in some case scenarios if they cannot attack you physically they are going to verbally try to attack you usually it is actually the spirit teams that are in conflict with each other is the reason as to why you see there will never be any harmonious relationship between a narcissist and the empath it will never be harmonious yes they may have a, a little bit of few good days one two three good days every now and then but usually a majority of the time those people are under attack okay so the empath is under attack because the narcissist wants to be like that person but they can't and they're very jealous about their energy they're jealous about their empathy they're jealous about their qualities and usually this thing sparks uh it like triggers very very huge feelings of jealousy and envy within that narcissist so their team actually doesn't want your team because the empath you're working with a different team i can say a team has got to do everything with light the empath has got another team which is working with darkness so whenever the two teams meet in a very spiritual level they start fighting against each other okay because your light now is becoming unbearable for this entity which is operating with darkness whatever you are on them you're telling them the truth they want to tell you a lie you know what they are saying you're telling them the truth it's like you're showing them the real thing they need to see or say or the real thing they need to do and because the team behind them does not want anything to do with your truth that is where the problem starts and the two teams start fighting with each other so that's what we call spiritual warfare okay in the physical plane of course in the physical in the 3d it can manifest as arguments where that person will start to fight with you blast you with very dirty horrible words things you don't want to hear beat you down and quarrel with you argue with you some of these psychopaths they may even take something and they'll, they try to hit to hit you with that item so what i mean they try they can even try to get physical with you it has got nothing to do with uh, you that you have done something wrong or um, there is you've done a problem or you've done you know you have usually tried to do the right thing when you're with these people but even the right thing doesn't seem right because they're always seeing it seeing it as the wrong thing because you're dealing with dark entities but the emphasis for you to realize that you're entangled with these demons or you have encountered these demons randomly somewhere outside of there it could be at a job place is when sometimes you're at work 
and you get a very uncomfortable feeling whenever you come around these people you start feeling your stomach running it's like you want to it's like you get a running stomach all of a sudden you want to go to use the bathroom something is very very disturbing in your stomach your gut tells you that there's a very demonic energy around you so because you're an empath your spirit team recognizes this energy on a very spiritual level even sometimes you even sometimes you as an empath you're not aware of it that is when you start to see you becoming extremely uncomfortable I even seek for that few seconds or minutes when you're with them but sometimes it can also happen whereby your spirit team has got to in a spiritual sense go to the attack to defend you because remember that these demons want to attack you so what really happens is that when they find the next when they find uh, a window to start attacking you your spirit team is going to go to war okay so that's where you see around you you're going to start discover that uh, things that usually manifest in this way is when you start to see like like i've done a video before you may start to see animals random animals fighting against each other you could see birds or eagles attacking each other you could see dogs now all of a sudden they're fighting each other you could see mice or rats fighting each other, cats fighting each other. And this thing, you could see it physically in front of you, or sometimes you could see it on the on um, on your phone, on TV, or whatever it is. You, you, may, you, you will see that activity around you. It is one of the signs that the two spirit teams, the two teams, your team and their team is at war. Okay? But most of the times, a lot of people, they are blind to this activity so they're not aware of it so if you're the person who has seen those things that i'm talking about i'm talking about in this video whereby you start getting sick around certain people you want to throw up you know sometimes even you eat with them you actually throw up or you might get instant diarrhea immediately or sometimes you're traveling you're in the plane you're in the train you're in the bus you're in the taxi and the driver is the one embodying these entities you may actually fall asleep out of the blue you know by the time the driver wakes you up that they have reached your destination you didn't even know what was happening you was very very deep deep asleep it could even be a, it could even sometimes have been like could be um, you have been traveling for 20 minutes or 15 minutes and the entire trip you have been asleep you didn't even know what was happening you was very very deep in your sleep that means that, that, that your spirit team actually was hustling or fighting with their spirit team. So this is not something you were supposed to be aware of. So you had to be shut down to sleep. And then your spirit team went to war. Okay? Now there is people who are... As much as they got these high-ranking demons in the spirit world, they also have very very high powerful angels on the other side so the people who embody that energy whenever they meet people who embody the other energy most of the time they are going to go to war but sometimes this one is very important you may be for example running around your house you know your house routine your daily routine like anybody else you know you're washing your dishes you took the kids to school everything has been okay and then somebody sends you a wave of negative energy it could be some magic they are trying to send to us away a wave of negative energy somebody is doing something against you especially if you're an, an, an earth angel so this is a video that is very powerful for the earth angels so what now happens is your team your spirit team it doesn't matter what you're doing you could be sometimes even be even in the kitchen sleeping uh, sorry cooking whatever you're cooking you're making dinner or you're cleaning around the house or you could be at your job in your work your team is going to turn you off it's going to switch you off and put you to sleep so what really happens is that that war the battle that is coming to you is a very powerful battle and that battle is going to be required for you is going to be required it's going to be done 
by your spirit team, but your spirit team is going to require you to take a nap. All of a sudden, out of the blue, you're going to ask your manager, listen, uh, I feel very sleepy. I don't know why, but you feel this thing has hit you. This energy has hit you whereby you feel you have to go and sit down and take a very quick nap immediately. It's like an emergency nap. And you will go and take that nap. It could even be sometime for five minutes or sometime 10 minutes. It doesn't matter. But that nap is going to be very, very deep. You're going to feel like you've been even dreaming. You slept and even you dreamt. You couldn't even realize what was going on around you. That nap has been enforced by your spirit team. Because your spirit team in that particular moment, in those particular seconds, your spirit team was going to war with a certain entity. They saw an energy coming towards you, probably through black magic or witchcraft or things like that, and they had to go to war. But for them to be able to fight that war, they had to first of all switch you off first of all. They had to turn you off. The, they had to switch you off and put you to rest first of all. So you had to go and take a nap. So for the most of you guys who are usually finding yourselves taking emergency naps, you know, on the bus, sometimes you're taking an emergency nap on the train, in the taxi, in your own home. You know, you woke up, you are, you are, you are out of energy all of a sudden, and then you had to run and take an emergency nap because you felt like you have got to go to sleep in that particular time. That means that your spirit team has been fighting. In the spirit, in the spiritual sense, there have been two teams have been fighting. Your spirit team has been fighting to defend you against against other entities. And this is where the video is going to get interesting. So I've told you guys that these videos are very deep, and it requires a person of very, very, you know, a person who is ready, really ready to understand and understand these things. Okay, because they are very deep. What really happens after the end of, at the end of the nap when you wake up? What really happens is that the very first person is going to contact you. This is why I want you to listen very, very closely and very careful. If you ever find yourself going for a nap and then you woke up after 10 seconds or uh, minutes, five minutes, maybe half an hour, a nap could even go to, uh, up to an hour, it depends. And you look on your phone. You take out your phone and you open your phone. Or your phone may ring. Or somebody may pass by your house. It could be a person who will pass by your house. It could be a person who will call you. It could be a name or a person. The very first person to appear to you. That has been the person that you've been fighting. If it has been at work, I'll give you an example. You took a nap for 10 minutes. Then you opened your eyes. And you stood up and you went to carry on. Let, let me say you could have been, even have, have been having a nap during your break. You opened your eyes and went out to go do your daily things. The very first person you meet when you open your eyes, that has been the person you've been fighting with in the spiritual sense. If it has been a person called you immediately or you sent you a message, and you realize that when you woke up, you received a message from that person. That is the person you've been in confrontation with in the spiritual team. Now, usually, a lot of these things, you don't learn them in schools. You know, you will not hear them from these pastors because even them themselves, they don't know. Some, some of them, they're even the problem. They will not tell you some of these things because they don't even have this information. Now, for chosen people, empaths, highly spiritually gifted people, these are the common events that usually happen spiritually everywhere that they go all around them there will be always and always spiritual activity which is going on it will be spiritual warfare or spiritual activity that will be always happening around this kind of individuals so if you have seen any of those things i've talked about let us know in the comment section below you guys know that i do love and appreciate your support book a session donate or support my channel if you want to everything you need you will find it in the description below and at you then I will catch you guys in my next one. There's a more signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.